A robotics team at North Davis Junior High is headed to the World Championship. They actually qualified by taking the state title, but faced a big challenge in raising the thousands of dollars to actually go there. Yeah, new specialist Mike Anderson shows us how an anonymous donor changed all that. The fundraising now will really be just the icing on the cake. North Davis is a Title I school, lower income area, so this was really a big gift for them. It may look like all Legos and rubber bands, but this robot represents hundreds of hours after school. We would take it home and work at it there, and then... So many times. Yeah. <laughs> These four ninth graders getting to know each other real well. It's a lot of fun to build and decode, and again, just to hang out with all of these nerds. Also getting to know Max, the block-collecting, color-sorting robot that's won them a lot of recognition. The Excellence Award is really your score against everyone else's score in total. They picked up six of those for first place awards, along with the state title and a design award, more than enough to qualify them for the VEX Robotics World Championship in Dallas this May. I'm going to Worlds. It's a big opportunity for me, and I'm really looking forward to it. One, begin. Each of these kids looking to pursue careers in science and tech. One thing I like with uh, robotics is building things, and that goes well with engineering because you can build things to solve world problems. And just days ago, they weren't even sure if they'd be able to go. With at least $2,000 per student for expenses, it was a big ask. It's life-changing for them. Uh, it's a, an amazing opportunity. Christina Brimhall, their coach, says an unknown donor stepped up, putting $10,000 into their account. We were all in just utter shock. We got that donation. Now they'll get that chance to see how Max stacks up against teams from around the world. Also a chance for a few other firsts. You've never been on a plane before? Nope. I haven't either. <laughs> and the robotics team will hold a yard sale here outside the school tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And really now the fundraising is just there so they can have some tokens to share with other schools while they're in Dallas and to fundraise for the program as a whole. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.